So now you may have noticed uh, we have the handler, but we don't actually call anything. Uh, our combination groups here don't actually do them anything themselves, so we need to tie them together. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So here we've got the suffix for the direction by quantity group. Sorry, the screen's cutting that off. We're going to execute another voice attack action. And this is going to be the shield management command. Shield management handler. We do not want to wait until it completes. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just, this is just used to gather the information. We'll send it over. Okay, so we'll save that. Uh, we also have to do that for the suffix commands in the other group. Let me just collapse this a little bit more, make it easier to read. So hit OK. I'm just pasting it in there for each of those commands. As long as they are the command suffixes, we should be just fine. So this is the prefix, we won't do anything there. So let's give it a quick test. Turn the listening back on. Increase power to forward shields by 30%. Increasing power to forward shields. Alright. So, it did not like that. No direction recognized. We have increased power to forward shields. Shield direction to forward. Okay, so something happened in the handler. Ah, that's where. Okay, we need to set the variable of shield direction. And now that should work. And we'll go ahead and pull this up here. Increase power to forward shields 30%. Increasing power to forward shields. Disable system HUD interaction. System HUD interaction disabled. All right. We'll try that again. It keeps hitting the hotkeys for us. Increase power to forward shields 30%. Increasing power to forward shields. Increase power to rear shields 30%. Increasing power to rear shields. 40 percent power to rear shields. 40 percent power to rear shields. Increasing power to rear shields. 50 percent power to rear shields. Increasing power to rear shields. All right, so everything looks like it works now. Uh, we got the directions. We can actually go back and forth. Uh, the only modification, I think, is just to make sure that we can do the the full power command still. Um, that one's a little bit different, uh, mainly because uh, we actually reset the shields uh, at the beginning. So I'll probably leave that how it is. Um, I might, uh, I could potentially go through and just pass this back to the handler. That uh, That might make it a little bit easier. Um, just to manage all at once. So shield management. Okay. So we balance. Um, we get the commands prepped. Go input command, text replace, input command, trim out shields. We're actually going to do shield direction now. And then listener event to shields. I believe we actually already confirmed, so we can remove that. So shield direction is set. Full power to. And let's duplicate this. We want to have... Now, an 
integer. So that's in the list here. Set an integer. Um, shield quantity. And the value for full is we're going to go 20. There. Boom. Then we execute the balance command. We redo that. And I think we also don't want to be messing with the HUD here. So pretty simple. Uh, we could do the same thing for half, quarter power, all that. Um, we still run into the text replace, but it's a lot less of a problem here. So let's see what happens. Full power to forward shields. Full power to forward shields. Mm. Oh, that's why. Disable the audible. Full power to forward shields. Full power to forward shields. Increasing power to forward shields. All right. Between commands there, it was a little slow. So we reset here. Uh, the num key five is what does that, and then we've got twenty. Looks like uh, twenty increments to the forward shield. So that's uh, that seems to be working pretty well. I think that's all we need to do. Just go test it out in game.